Sustainability describes the actions that make the world go round. To sustain your goal, you need to have connections to the people around you and, of course, to leadership. I believe, Charity Ross, that sustainability starts and ends with your views of the world and what has influenced you. Like Michael Jackson says, if you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and make that change. And he had it right. We need to change our lives before we can change the world. We need to be connected to the community, and we need to find people that want to make the same difference as we do. Um, and it, we can only do that to make our goals achievable. We also need to make more people aware of what's going on that needs changing, so we can govern our actions to sustain the problem. Sustaining is all about paying it forward. People will give so others can get. Our community garden is a prime example because not only has Fleming donated 12 plots of land, we also use the students as an extremely helpful way of sustaining our garden. So, I believe that the community garden is an extremely good idea. Not only because we are learning the leadership skills ourselves, but we're also learning where, where our help is going to. Like, I just, I thought it was absolutely amazing that out of all of the places around here, um, that mental health, bringing mental health patients here to learn what we need to learn, I think that's amazing. But anyway, I'd just like to say that I think this community garden is it's beautiful. I think it stands for extremely great work. And truly, to me, sustainability is all about finding what you, what you think is right, what you want to change. Because if you want to change something, you have to take action. You need to be connected. You really do. Because you're not going to make a change if you don't have help. You can't fight the world one person. Right? Anyway, sustainability, it's important. We know it. One of the skills we used while working in the garden um, included leadership. We need leadership in the workplace because, let's be honest, it, it does get a little tough to do your job. And we need inspiration some days. We used this whenever we were weeding. I mean, you can't say that it's the funnest job in the world, but when you're working with a great, like, great people and they're encouraging you to do your best, it is pretty motivational. Another skill we used was communication. Now you really need communication or we could end up screwing up in a really important job and maybe hurting some of the work we've already previously done. Um, we need to use communication in the workplace for the same reasons. We can't, well, I mean, you don't want to end up endangering someone on the, in the workplace. That's exceedingly dangerous and, I mean, you could get in huge trouble for that. And, and a good example of leadership that we saw today, you know what, that's a tough one. We saw excellent leadership. Um, I have to think that one of the ones that stood out in my head was that everyone was pitching in for the good cause. I can't really describe what that is in just one word. Besides inspirational, I suppose. I think it was just great to see that everyone was participating all together. So I guess I'd have to say, um, the most important leadership skill that we saw while working in the garden was absolutely problem solving. Most of us haven't worked in a garden before and didn't know what we were doing. So we look to our peers and we look to our teacher for help. And not everyone is good at asking for help. But problem solving is a really good skill to have and we are gonna use it in the workplace because not everything's easy and you know, we aren't gonna learn everything just through school. Some of it needs to be taught at the workplace. So problem solving is a great skill. Anyway, I just have to say, we did learn a lot and it's, it's an excellent thing, this community garden. So, it's a great project and I hope you keep it going.